This is part 2 of the video about making fire carved log furniture. The previous video had instructions for how to make a stool from a finished torch. Now I'll show you how to burn cylindrical and oval cavities in the log. Please note, it is much easier to make the oval hole rather than the cylindrical one. To make an oval hole, you make a quick straight rib cut in the middle of the log segment and then burn it through. To make a cylindrical cavity, you need to drill the priming hole. It is more difficult unless you use power tools. I used a 52mm auger drill bit. I struggled slightly at the very end when the auger bit's tip drilled all the way through and stopped pulling the bit's cutting edge. When the priming hole is ready, we start the fire at the bottom of it. I started a fire in the wooden channel, just as I did in the finished torch. I didn't expect that the drilled hole would burn through two to three times more slowly than the chainsaw's cut. This is why I'm putting the fire out in the improvised oven late at night. But next time I make this furniture, I'll try to use the burning log to grill meat or fish and I'll let you know about the experience. I drilled the second priming hole in the log the next day. It is at 90 degrees to the first one. While drilling, the rain interrupted me. Luckily, I have a nice canopy to hide under. It has an original design and its layout was comfortable to use. If you are interested, I will make a separate video about it. Even though it just rained, I took measures to prevent a forest fire. I poured water on the ground and placed a trough filled with water under the torch. As you can see, both holes connected inside the log into one large cavity. Now it's two to three times lighter than before. The bottom portion of the cavity burns through faster. That is why I rolled the log sections a few times flipping its orientation. While making the fire carved furniture, I used the fire to boil water. I brewed chaga tea, which they say is good for you. Please do not forget to put out the fire on time. Once the log sections cooled down, I did some final touches using my axe and knife. As a result, the fire carved furniture stopped smearing ash and looked finished and neat. As I get to my camp by boat, the extra weight is not an issue. So I brought three drill bits, 20, 35 and 52 millimeters this summer. You can quickly make original outdoorsman's furniture and even tools using just a few drill bits. For instance, I made this wooden mallet. You might have recognized the plastic wrapping on the mallet. This is a heat shrink tape made from a plastic bottle. Please note, the tape shrinks evenly in just a few seconds in the log torch. The canopy you saw a minute ago is attached to the original frame with the same homemade tape. I should confess, the longer I use my bottle cutter jig, the more I like it. I cut the polymer tape using the bottle cutter you might have seen on my Russian YouTube channel published in 2014. Since then, the video got more than 10 million views and still gaining attention. If you want to know more about the PET heat shrink tape properties and applications, I will translate and publish a video about it in English. I made this mallet in 2014, but it is still in use, even though I used it a lot in the harsh conditions of the northern forest. Postscriptum. This video was published in 2014. Since then, I have cooked several delicious dishes on similar vertical fire torches, as promised. I was even able to successfully use the Finnish torch hooked up to a metal pipe to heat up my camping tent. To my surprise, such heating method worked really well. I also found an ideal vertical torch setup to cook meat and my vertical spiral potato dish. The setup consists of three log sections connected together. If you want to see videos about how to heat up a camping tent or how to make original outdoorsman's dishes using vertical fire method, please write it down in the comment section. I will edit and publish it next on Advoca Makes. Let good people watch good videos.